two to play in the third. Grizzlies match their largest lead of the game. Dunn. Got the behind bounce. It's made per game last year. Grizzlies six in the first quarter. Dunn with a deflection. Grizzlies turn it over. Muhammad will take it. And it's wiped away by Baldwin. But Dunn follows it. Starting to become three and dime with the way the Grizzlies are passing, finding one another and knocking them down. And Dunn cutting back to players. And then they get another nice one right there. And Dunn. It's Dunn. Everybody talks about him. You just wish he could get it together off the court because he, he is one of the most talented guards in this league. As you don't see that very often. Chris Dunn knocking down the triple. Players, and here come the Timberwolves. They have been in control since midway through the first quarter. And Dunn hits another three. It's a total for the Grizzlies, but the Grizzlies are scoring 106. Dunn's got an open look at a three. And Jang, I beg your pardon, Dunn. Now screen and roll, Dunn. And nearly traveled. He kind of stumbled into an awkward layup. Back to Gorgie. Now Dunn will take it in. Gave Russ a little bit of his own medicine right there. The slashing look just like. Yeah. Laverne sent the other way by Gorgie Jang. Dunn, little hop step in traffic and the finish off the glass. Bulls with this seven point advantage. Peyton is blocked by Chris Dunn. He's got Levine with him. Dunn will take it himself. Back at Staples Center. Into the corner. He falls with another perimeter. And then Dunn scores and is fouled. He'll get an and one. He's so big. There were a career low scoring last year. Done over the years against Minnesota. Done his first field goal. You know, the trends of the NBA with having a stretch four. Nice move there by Dunn. Crossover, huh? Nice poked away. And that was done again, his activity defensively. And then he finishes on the other end. And he has really stood out too much on it. And they give it away by Cunningham. Dunn, a very good defensive rookie, and he put it down through the contact. You know what I mean? I mean, Tibbs keeps either Wiggins or Levine usually in the game as Chris Dunn knocks down the triple. Stay out of foul trouble once he gets into it. Nice shot by Chris Dunn. Dunn will take the long two and drills it. Quite a while, have it up to nearly 38%. Thanks for the flurry to finish that opening quarter. Chris Dunn, that was nifty out of the rookie. The elites are back to Dunn, wide open for three, and it's a tied game for the first time tonight. Dunn got his man screened off. Walker was trying to guard him. Nicole Aldrich opened up some space for Dunn. Dunn, step back jumper. How and about that? That is nice out of Chris Dunn. The penalty as well. Dunn, over lead. Oh, Terrific yeah. move by Dunn. Well, he's a heck of a the player. offensive rebound, he was gathering to jump, and all of a sudden, there's a pass at him. And Dunn, slick move, quick to the bucket. Dunn. He leads it back to Dunn. He'll try it from the free throw line and drill it. Muhammad, unable to get it to go, but there for the putback. How high did Chris Dunn? Turn around along the baseline. Back-to-back -back buckets. Spurs back within six, and hey, Dunn strokes the tray. Long two try for Chris Dunn. A lot of people put high expectations on Chris Dunn. Around Raptor Ed Pickney, uh, assistant coach with the Timberwolves. John Lucas the third inactive tonight as Dunn scores in the paint. Not giving up offense rebounds a second chance shots. Levine, look at Dunn, full head of speed, takes it inside for two. Has turned out to be downright ugly from a Timberwolves perspective. Chris Dunn drops the jumper. Alex Karras oh, yeah. and Roger Brown inside. Sam Williams and Darius McCord at the end. 28, T-Wolves, 27. Dunn misses, follows his own shot. He knew where it was coming up. To four court. 
Dunn buries it from the baseline. It's done from the baseline. You've got an inspired Minnesota team here. Very skilled with size. Dunn attacking. Nice finish.